Hey guys, so today I'm back to do a video all about skincare. You guys asked me about what skincare products I use all the time, so I figured I should do an updated version for you guys because I do try a lot of products out, but I do keep some of the products the same as well. And I always wanna make sure that I try products long enough to give them a fair shot to see if they really work or make a difference for my skin. So for this video, I thought that I would embrace my natural skin. So today I don't have any face makeup on, I don't have any foundation or concealer or any of that. I do have my brows on and I have some lip liner and chapstick, which is kind of like the must-haves for me. So um, I have no makeup on my face. You guys can see the real me. And before I get into the products, I wanted to mention my skin type. I personally am pretty normal to combination skin. I'm not on one end of the spectrum. I'm not super oily, but I'm not super dry. I do have some dry spots on my face, usually around my nose and um, kind of like in this area, like under eye area can get a little bit dry sometimes in my cheeks. But I do still get, you know, an oily T-zone throughout the day, but nothing extreme on either end of the spectrum. So I wanted to say that, oh, and I am 27 years old. So my kind of skin goals are to keep my skin looking clear and young <laughs> because, I mean, most of us do want to keep our youth a little bit and age gracefully. So those are my skin types and skin goals. So now I'm going to get into the products and I'm going to start with cleanser just because, you know, that's like the first step usually in routine. So I'm not really like a huge like cleanser person. I feel like a lot of cleansers out there get the job done for me. So I mainly use the cleanser to get rid of my makeup and, you know, just to cleanse my face, obviously. So uh, this is the one that I've just been using for years. I've mentioned it before. It really works for me. So this is the Philosophy Purity Made Simple, just their one-step cleanser. I just like to use it because it gets rid of all my makeup really easily and it doesn't make my skin feel dry or stripped afterward. It's just easy. I keep one of these in the shower and I keep one on my sink and you know, it just gets the job done. If I'm wearing a ton of makeup that day, I will double cleanse. So I'll just wash everything and then I will do it again if I feel like I didn't get everything off. But for my day-to-day -day makeup, usually one little round of it gets the job done. So I will use that usually at the end of my day. So in the morning to start my day, I don't usually use a typical cleanser like that. I typically use a micellar water. And personally, I feel like all micellar waters pretty much have worked the same for me. I don't think any are like way better than others. So this is the Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water. This is the pink one. I think it just means it's like the regular all skin types version. But I just put this on a cotton pad and swipe it all over my face and I feel like it gets the job done. Um, especially in the morning when I don't like have like a ton of like stuff on my face to get rid of. I feel like that's just the easiest way to go. So I'll either use that or I will use the Garnier Micellar Makeup Wipes. These are the blue ones and these are the waterproof ones. So sometimes I will remove my makeup at the end of the day with this and then go in with my purity cleanser or sometimes I just use this in the morning if I don't feel like, you know, getting a cotton pad for whatever reason. So these are really great products and they are from the drugstore they're, so they're super affordable and they don't leave my skin feeling sticky or anything like that. So I would definitely recommend the Garnier Micellar Water. Moving on is a product that I use pretty much every single time after I wash my face. I'm not one to use a toner. I feel like it's just an extra step that never really made a huge difference for me. So I don't use a toner. Sue me. So what I do like to do is after I cleanse my face, is I will use this. And I've mentioned this in a few videos and I just love this product. Ever since I started using it, I cannot live without it. And this is the Paula's Choice Skin Perfecting 2% BHA Liquid. So this has the salicylic acid in there. And what this does is kind of like unclog your pores, make your pores look smaller, reduce redness, prevent blemishes, get rid of blemishes. I feel like it just makes my skin look so much better when I use this. It keeps it just looking very even toned and small poured. <laughs> so I don't know. I really, really love this stuff and I would definitely recommend it um, if you have like blemishes or pore issues or you're just trying to, you know, 
create better, healthy, clearer skin. This is definitely one of my top products for that. So next I wanted to mention an SPF facial moisturizer that I've been using. This is a relatively newer product, but I've been using it for the past few months, and I know it's a little bit more on the expensive side, but I do really, really like it. This is the Paracone MD Preempt Series Daily Brightening Moisturizer. So just looks like this. It has SPF 30 and um, so this has like vitamin C in there so it helps to like brighten your skin tone and get rid of any like um, dark spots and I just feel like it's a really great product so when it comes out it comes out like a kind of skin tone color do not look at my palms I had a self tanning mishap and kind of just instantly rubs into your skin and it doesn't leave a white cast as you can see and I don't know, the texture of it is nice and it kind of makes your pores look smaller right away and kind of just blurs everything a little bit. So I really like this, especially on days that I don't wear any makeup. Um, I just really like the texture it leaves on my skin. It feels hydrated, but it doesn't feel greasy and it doesn't like pill on my skin or feel heavy or anything like that. Um, but it definitely moisturizes just enough for me. So I really like this product and obviously SPF is a necessity in any skincare routine. You want to protect your skin from the sun. So that's what I use during the day and I will also use this during the day and I've actually been using this for probably about a month and it's a newer product. This is the Sunday Riley Autocorrect Brightening and Depuffing Eye Contour Cream. So this is an eye cream and I have been obsessed with this. So this um, just makes your under eyes look more bright and lifted, gets rid of like the dark puffy look that a lot of us get. So I have been loving it. It has caffeine in there and plant extracts and antioxidants. I use this day and night and I've really, really been loving it. Again, it's a little bit more expensive, but I feel like it's worth it. It doesn't make my under eyes feel greasy or um, pill up. I feel like some eye creams are either too thick or too thin. That one's just the right consistency and it wears beautifully under makeup so you don't have to worry about it not wearing well underneath your concealer. So I really, really love that. So those are the few products that I use mainly during the day, which are these three. So the SPF, the eye cream, and the BHA liquid. I use that usually in the morning. So then I wanted to talk about a few oils. I personally am a big fan of facial oils. Both of these you can wear on their own or you can layer it with other products. So first I wanted to mention this one. This is the Julep Boost Your Radiance Reparative Rose Hip Seed Oil, I think it's called. Yeah, Rose Hip Seed Facial Oil and obviously comes in this little dropper. So I personally love this stuff. It says right in the title, boost your radiance, and I feel like that's so true because whenever I use it at night, I wake up in the morning and I'm like, oh, I really do look radiant and glowing. So the benefits of rose hip seed oil, there's a lot of them, but it is really good for brightening your skin tone, evening out your skin tone, dealing with scarring, and it's moisturizing, and there's so many benefits to it. So I particularly like this one. It also has a really nice, smell. I'm not sure what the smell is, but it's a like a natural smell, not like a really chemically smell. And I don't know, I just really love this. So like I said, you can wear it on its own or mix it with other products. So I love that. Another one that I love is this Origins High Potency Nitamin Skin Refining Oil. So I love this product. This has so many different vitamins in there for your skin. So this has salicylic acid in there, vitamin C and vitamin E, and a bunch of different plant oils. So it is really great to keep your skin looking clear and hydrated and you know radiant. So um, I definitely love this. It has that vitamin C in there, which is one of the more important anti-aging vitamins out there. So um, I would definitely recommend this. And it comes in this dark colored tube, I think to make sure that the um, ingredients stay active. So this is an oil, but it's a very, very thin oil. It's not like a thick, goopy oil. I would say that um, this one is a little bit thinner than this one. Like, I don't know if you can hear it shaking as opposed to that one. This one's like more fluid and this one's like thin. I don't know if that makes sense. This one, again, you can layer with other products or use it on its own, but um, I love those two. So the next is a retinol serum that I like to use. And again, I've mentioned this in videos before and I think it's in my past skincare routine, but this is the Paula's Choice Resist Intensive Wrinkle Repair Retinol Serum. So this is what I use 
again for anti-aging so retinol is like one of the most clinically proven to help with anti-aging and wrinkles so this is supposed to help with wrinkles and sun damage it helps to build collagen and reduce dark spots and I just love it it has retinol in there obviously which is known to be more on the drying side but this I think because it's a lower percentage it just is a lot easier to use it doesn't irritate my skin or dry it out and I just love the texture of this. It's like a serum, kind of like an oil, but it sinks right into the skin. It doesn't like sit on top of it. And I don't know, I've tried a few other retinol oils that just make my skin like way too dry or they like flake and rub off. And I don't know, this is just the best one that I found works for me. So this is what I've been using for the past, like at least the past year and a half, two years. So I really, really love this product. And I would say that one bottle of this lasts you at least six months. So um, I would say that I use this about every other night. So this I will often follow up with this facial oil or this facial oil or the moisturizer that I'm going to show you in a minute. But it really, you don't even like really have to put a moisturizer on top of it just because the texture is actually really moisturizing, if that makes sense. So that's that. And then I wanted to mention just a straight up moisturizer that I use um, sometimes like if I'm not going out into the sun or out of my house, if I know I'm like staying in my dark little house, I will use this instead of that brightening SPF moisturizer. But this is really, really good. This is the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. It's just so hydrating. This is the limited edition autism packaging, but it's just a really nice cream it's not too heavy it sinks into the skin like immediately and i don't know it's super hydrating you could use it all over your body probably but i just love it so i will either use this on its own or like i said i will follow it up with another product so the retinol sometimes i will put this on afterward or i'll just use it by itself but i feel like it's a really great product and i don't typically like things that come in a tub but this is one exception because i really really do love it so then lastly, I wanted to mention a few like treatments that I use maybe like once a week or twice a week, but not products I use on the daily. So one is this mask. This is the Origins Clear Improvement Active Charcoal Mask. So if you guys didn't know, charcoal is an amazing ingredient for, you know, drawing out impurities and like detoxifying your face. This one has white china clay an active charcoal to absorb environmental toxins, dissolve impurities, and yeah. So um, sometimes I use this as a spot treatment if I'm like having some breakout issues or I just feel like my pores are looking kind of clogged, um, I will use this. It's not like a peel off mask or anything like that. It just dries down and then you wash it off after like 15 minutes or so. But I really like this one. Um, I feel like some masks out there can be a little bit harsh on my skin. Like sometimes I'll use like a charcoal product and my skin will be like a little bit red and like kind of tingly afterward. And um, this one doesn't do that to my face. So I really like this one. And then another product that I use to like exfoliate my face and get rid of all of the dead skin cells, I use this probably twice a week. And this is the Drunk Elephant TLC Fambrews Glycolic Night Serum. So this has AHA and BHA, which are both exfoliants. So this is great because it not only like unclogs your pores and gets rid of all the gunk inside your pores, it also like gets rid of the dead skin cells on your face. So it just makes your skin like brand new and fresh. So I prefer a chemical exfoliant over a physical exfoliant. Um, I don't like scrubs that are like have like beads or chunks of whatever in them. I'm not into that. I'm not into Clarisonics. I just, I'm not a fan of that. I feel like they're too harsh on your face. So I prefer chemical exfoliants. So this is the one that I use. This is really great for if you have like blemishes or uneven texture or uneven skin tone or fine lines and wrinkles. This helps to improve all of that. So I don't know. It's basically like refines everything in your skin, underneath your skin. It's just an amazing product. And I've been using 
similar kind of products to this for a while so my skin is kind of like used to it but if you haven't used like chemical exfoliants before um you might want to like use this like sparingly like only like once a week to start but i probably use this maybe twice maybe three times a week. It's just an amazing product. Again, it's more expensive, but it's definitely worth it. I know Paula's Choice just recently came out with like similar products. Um, I don't have them to show you, but um, if you're looking for a more affordable brand, definitely check out Paula's Choice because I know that the drunk outfit stuff is a little bit pricey. So that's going to be it. I don't know if that seems like a lot of products or not. As I'm looking at it, it seems like a lot, but I don't put them all on my face at the same time. Um, so yeah, and I didn't show myself applying them just because I feel like that's so self-explanatory and like I said, I don't put them all on my face at once. So then I felt like I would be leaving some out if I didn't put them on my face and whatever. So, um, anyways, uh, let me know what some of your guys' skincare favorites are. I'm always looking to try new stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in my next one. favor. I can just tell you that right now.